Hi guys. I, I just kind of want to see, um, just want to track something real quick with today's energy. Um, <clears throat> I'll explain as I go. It's, it's not about what's even in the cards, okay? Well, I mean, it is and it's not, all right? But this will be for the weekend, let's just say that, next, you know, 48, 48 hours or so. I'm going to check where people's alignments are at. Just want five cards, please. Five cards. Just give me a minute. It's kind of going to be a little bit of a of a quiet video. Of a quiet video. So. All right, so I'm going to break it down this way. So I'm not even going to look at the cards, okay? Right off the bat, it's it's the change, okay? There's going to be some type of change over the weekend. Um, whatever type of change, okay? It's an energetic change. It's an adventurous change. It's a flexible change. It can be a cautious change. It could be a social change. It could be... All of a sudden, a courageous change. Um, what it's also telling me, too, is for the first group, because there's two, okay? Whatever I just talked about first is for both groups. For the first group, it is more about mind, body, spirit, where you want to go, divine purpose, focus, being happy, looking at the brighter things of, of life. Um, it also talks, it can talk about your talent and it's the balance you want to find um it's how we're going to communicate it's are you going to judge yourself is somebody else going to judge me it's the planning it's the partnership it's the going okay it, it's it's really getting on your path and for the second group it's more it's more of all those energies what's up i don't know the, the top of the box that's it the top of the box Okay, yeah, leave that. That's fine. That's just to keep it sturdy. Thank you. And for the second group, it, it, it's kind of like, it, it's kind of, you need to find that you need to plan things out first versus doing it the other way around, okay? Um, it's, it's, it's taking that foot first, that going after what needs to be focused on most. So it really just depends what group you're in, okay? So if we're gonna go back to 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 group A where it's, you have to, well, let's talk about the other one where you have to take a foot first regardless, say you're not being, say you're not 
being courageous and, and social and all that stuff, what they want you to do first is, is take that step and stay focused. Um, for those who are being courageous and, and, and accepting change um, and, and daring and willing to go, um, what they want you to do is kind of balance things. So actually, you, they want you to both kind of do the same thing. Okay, let me just read the cards real quick. We got compromise possibilities. We have celebration. It's, it's being patient with yourself. Okay, it, it's, yeah, we got some burdens. Okay, but th that's that's the guilt. Okay. Um, so, but what this is saying, if, if you can do that foot first or, you know, it, it talks about balance and partnership, any type of situationship type thing. Okay. That there is that possibility, but you have to be willing to compromise so you can get to that happy. You can't be so focused on guilt or whatever's burdening you from the past. You have to be patient with yourself. Okay. So ultimately, whatever direction you go into, it, it's on you. But what this is telling me is that there's going to be a major energetic shift, a change. And what you need to either do is be adventurous and flexible and, and courageous, or you're going to let the DACA energy get the best of you. And what's going to happen is this. So how about you be this, you ground that, that energy, okay? So I thought I was kind of, that whole alignment that I was going for was actually in my new moon energy. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to post this anyway, because I think it's important. And you guys can interpret these cards on how you want to interpret these cards because I had already done a reading. I was just kind of telling you how things need to be aligned right now, how to work with this energy, okay? And again, if you compromise, you're good, okay? If you choose not to lay burdens down and you're going to dwell on, you know the guilt or whatever is getting the best of you, you're gonna, you're gonna stay in this. You're gonna drive yourself nuts. And the best advice they're giving you for this situationship is, is this. Have patience and, and get that balance yourself. But at the same time, oh, ow, 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 my back is rocking. At the same time, it's, yeah, is it patience, but it also talks about, it's the number seven. So it's like, you have a deeper purpose. You know, if you're feeling down, it's kind of because you're transcending, all right? But it, I don't know if someone's trying to perfect, perfect something, but you already have that spiritual insight, you know, the inner wisdom, the knowledge, you know, so it's also linked to the chariot, a seven, all right? It's moving forward. Okay, so... I say do it, do it, do it, do it. I love you guys. Bye.